500 miles from the pristine coastline of Miami Beach is a country called Haiti, the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Haiti is perpetually in a state of political and social turmoil and its economy is in ruins. Corruption, cruelty, and poverty have prevailed while the infrastructure of Haiti has all but collapsed. Today, four out of 10 Haitian adults cannot read or write, and half of all Haitian households are forced to live on less than $1 a day. And what's more, 80% of Haitians do not have access to clean drinking water. Haiti is also home to one of the world's worst orphan predicaments, which has now reached epidemic proportions. There are a number of orphanages in Port-au-Prince that address part of the problem, but most are underfunded, overcrowded, and fail to provide a healthy and nurturing environment. Children are the future of this world. Widespread poverty, economic turmoil, and violence in the streets cripple any chance for a future filled with promise and possibilities for the children of Haiti. However, there is a shining light cutting through the unending darkness. In the rural village of Timache, there is a place that offers some children a chance for a future. The Enfant de Jesus Adoption Center is a safe and sane sanctuary in this country of constant chaos and mayhem. At any given time, the center is home to 40 to 50 orphans who are transforming and preparing to become part of a new family in a better place. The children are served three nutritious meals a day, have plenty of fresh drinking water and juice, receive a bath every day, and attend preschool to begin the process of learning English. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, the children are cared for around the clock by an extraordinary four-to-one caregiver ratio. The children's medical needs are met by two on-site live-in nurses and weekly examinations by a highly regarded pediatrician. This is an extraordinary place. It is clean, bright, and energetic. Enfant de Jesus is funded and operated by the Chances for Children Foundation, whose mission is to provide hope for the children of Haiti, one family at a time. As is the case with all 501c3 organizations, the long-term future of the operation is a function of funding. Creating and maintaining this one-of-a-kind environment in a third world country is costly. However, it is our belief that the children of Haiti are worthy of the standards that this program offers. It is our belief that these kids deserve something better. I think that um, they picked me the same time I picked them. We when I first walked through those doors, it was very different from what I had expected. Um, it was joyful, he uh, healthy, clean, magical. There wasn't, when, when I had heard of Haiti and you heard of some of the poverty and some of the unrest, and, and you think of orphanage in, in a generic sense, you, you think of desperation and sadness and, and, and longing for love and, and when I walked through those doors I saw an entirely different set of eyeballs. I saw magic and laughter and fun and love and um, great sense of compassion from these children and literally I fell in love with all of them. But I especially fell in love with uh, Amalek and Esperanza and we spent a few days together and we had certain sets of circumstances and moments and interactions and we literally I think just fell in love. Here we go. She actually went and asked the aunties today how to say I love you mommy. Came running over and said I love you mommy. And oh, it's just so great. It was so touching. But we definitely have bonded with those two. They are definitely our children. So. Cold rain Just don't bother me
This old heart just got a brand new flow. Now that you claim me Please join us as we attempt to give these children a chance. A chance for a future. A future filled with hope and possibilities. Your donation or desire to adopt will help us transform these children's lives.